Hey guys, today we're going to talk about a card that has a little bit of magic history in it. So this card is a very old card. It was not reprinted. I don't feel like they will ever reprint this card. It's called Invoke and it is quadruple blue. So to my knowledge, it's the only quadruple blue card. If an opponent casts a summon spell that does not match the color of one of the creatures under your control, that spell is countered unless the caster pays a additional X where X is the casting cost of the summon spell. And this was in Legends in 1994. So it wasn't in like 1950 or 1920. And I'll get to that a little bit more. Now, the artist Harold McNeil, he has been confirmed on the MySpace as well as some of the other information. So on gatherer.wizards.com, you can see what is a uh, going you can see why this would to many be a offensive piece of artwork i'm not going to get into too much detail but again it shouldn't be uh, all that difficult to understand i'm going to read you something from the gatherer posted in 2012 so it says i met him at the 1995 artist caravan along with other magic artists I expressed to him my enjoyment of his art for the card. He lit up and said I might be interested in some of his other art. Then he pulled out a couple art books filled with racist and Nazi inspired art. Creeped out beyond belief, I sheepishly thanked him and got the hell away from that table as quick as I could. And there's a reason why he has done almost zero professional work for a long time. Time. His MySpace confirms he's a complete racist nut job. I'll say not that there's anything wrong with that, but this is the 21st century, and yeah, there's something wrong with that. Uh, this card, I'm not sure how it got past uh, Wizards. Uh, clearly, it depicts an image of something that I personally, and I would, I would assume many people find a little offensive. Uh, not only in 1994, but even like 1980, uh, anytime, uh, you know, anytime I feel like it would, this piece of artwork, if you will, would, is not going to be reprinted anytime soon. And it's just a nice little piece of magic history that a lot of you guys who are newer to the game probably didn't realize, you know, how small of a game magic was back in 1994. Finding artists, hiring artists was probably not easy to do. And you, I guess they weren't too particularly too picky or had done much of a background check or any of that at all. 